so just classic posture. Yeah, even you you shifted your foot at the the last second there. No, but you wanted yeah. to step out, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people rather do this and they turn their foot out. So <clears throat> it just creates more of a pelvic shift to the right. But you're saying you have upper back pain, but you no know lower back pain? No. How old are you? Twenty nine, that's why. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can feel this this is coming down here, down oh, the pike. Here. Wonderful. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, you gotta start getting worked up right there. See, this is fine. Good, um, good, 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 bad. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so you're not feeling it now, but no. your your chances are not are bad. Are looking likely that you will. You're not terrible. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's just this is forward, forward head posture. Okay. You know, your head is forward about two inches, right? So if you look straight ahead. Um, Here's you. You can look at me now. Oh. Okay, it should be here. Yeah. I'm looking at this here mm -hmm. compared to this. Okay. And it's forward. That's going to give you this hump back here. And also, the forward head posture is leading into this mid back. Every inch forward the head goes, it will feel the strain here. I know you feel it up here. Yeah. When I look down, it pulls to about here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll feel it until about this region. And that's so. If I my point is, is if I correct this, that will take the pressure, pressure off, off of this. Okay. Yeah, that's if I wanted to just address what you're, what you're feeling. I'm going to address everything. Everything. My main focus today is going to be the neck and the upper back, but I will touch on the lower back. Okay. Yeah, you have a right atlas. You know, more restriction here, right here. Here's that's the atlas. That's the top vertebrae in the neck. Uh huh is rotated posteriorly and it's shifted laterally so it's going to the side up here and back mm -hmm. and when that happens fluid builds up left side i can barely feel the the edge of your atlas right here yeah that's, that's a big difference it's a huge difference <laughs> this is like okay left side versus right side ah yeah and then people classic when the atlas goes one way the occiput will go the other way, and we get soreness up in here. Okay. Does this feel more tender than this? Yeah. Okay, there's not too much edema or fluid here versus here. It's not too bad, but it's there. You can tell the difference. Yeah, this is all swollen here. Yeah. So that's why when you see the adjustments, I massage it pretty thoroughly first, mm -hmm. and then I'll go and adjust it. Yeah, very often it's in the, the lower part of the neck. That was my thumb cracking. Yep. <laughs> that was not your neck. <laughs> there we go. Now, is it because I'm like right hand dominant, everything I do on my right side? No, this is genetics. 80% um, of the population has a right atlas. Oh. We don't know why. It's just the way it is. Our hearts are on the left hand side. Mm. So we that has something to do that. Like 80% of the population also has a high left shoulder. Oh. Our hearts are over on the left hand side. That's the only thing I can think of. Nobody seems to want to come up with any theories. <laughs> <laughs> But that's my theory. Just you here leading the charge. Well, I think because we're the spinal cord is the first part to develop on a embryo. Mm -hmm. It is the very first thing, and then everything grows out of that and kind of connects to the spinal cord. So up here where I am, there's some very important nerves that go to your heart, your yeah. intestines. Yeah. Okay. That's why people are like, "Why is my stomach growling?" I'll work on their neck, and then suddenly things are growling and moving around. I'm like, mm -hmm. "Well, I'm on the vagus nerve. I'm on you know different nerves that." that wander around. Right here we got, like one guy was saying he felt it in his tongue. And that's the hypoglossal nerve. They're, they're all right here, right at the base of the skull here. Now I'm, I can't really directly influence it, but when I'm pushing fluid around up there, yeah. it indirectly affects those nerves. Yeah, I'm feeling, okay, how far, and every time I pa you know, pass through it, we get a little bit further get more range of motion. I want to be able to feel that hard stop. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get that sooner than I would like in the degrees of motion. 
All right, you ready? Ugh. Sure. Here we go. First chiropractic adjustment coming up. Right, Atlas. All right, think thoughts here. Good. Perfect. Oh, more flexibility on this side, so mm -hmm. I gotta go further. And there you go. Wow. First chiropractic adjustment. How was it? It felt amazing. How does it feel though? Like, can you it, feel like the blood draining? Yeah, <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> it's like it always. I'm like relief. I'm like, oh. I'm trying to provide a signal back up to your brain that these exist. Okay. Okay. There's a nerve right here that I can influence. Call it turning the power back on. Now lay back down for me. I don't want you to stress your neck out. That's it. I'm you, are you ticklish in your feet at all? Um, I am, but as long as you're like cracking not it. Not real life. Or okay. Not real life. Light. <laughs> not real light. Okay. I'm good. All right. Here we go. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> uh, reach overhead. Grab the table. Setting all these bones in place. Good. This one's stuck. Yes. That one's, that's all I got on it. That one is stuck. Yeah, that doesn't want to go. Yeah, hold just your arms, though. No, nope, the sides equally. That's tight. Anything wrong in the knees? nice. If I can relax this muscle, mm -hmm. it'll take tension off of the knee. Okay. So this is the tiger tail. I'm trying this out. I've tried this out on myself. Okay. But yeah. I'm trying it out on you because if I use the green roller on the legs, it's a, it's really brutal. Mm -hmm. So this one shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. This is a tiger tail. They make a series of products that I thought I'd try them out. They're real popular. But a lot of people have a problem right there on the outside of the leg. Oh, yeah. And that's just the way it is. It actually comes from your low back. Oh, the, mm -hmm. right in the beginning of the video where you said, eh, they're hanging on. <laughs> they're hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I've got to show you how to do some exercises. All right, so what we're going to do now is you're going to turn over on your stomach. It feels like I'm rolling out. there but yeah so it hasn't changed from standing to laying down you still have a right lateral curvature man I feel this And then I'm gonna have to pick this apart. Hmm. The roller is getting some of it, but not all of it. Yeah, look at that. That is really tight. There it goes. And again. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And again. Perfect. Now we go on this side. Uh, these are the ones I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get right <laughs> off the bat, okay? Because they're really tight, swollen over here. Deep breath in. Yeah. See that? So from about here down, mm -hmm. we've got congestion. You have it. Here's the the curve here, but it goes here. Mm. Okay, so I got that one. I'm going to try to pull this one. Out, push this one in. There it is. Okay. He's just got a problem here. And then it switches to this side. It's like. It feels good. Yeah, the swelling's coming out, which is. 
nice for a change. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to work so hard on it. This arm behind your back for me. There's a lot of knots in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's where they lie. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Breathe. Oh hey, you don't have to do it too many more times. No, nope, one more. That one. No oh, man, it's right there. Yeah. Right here. That feels good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the torture of the abuse feels good. <laughs> You're like, nah. Yeah. He, he was explaining to me his fire, what he does as a firefighter. I'm like, it can't be anything that bad. <laughs> so he said it was like sticking your head in an oven, going yeah. into a burning building. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think he's this okay. Is, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. All right, this arm behind your back. He doesn't have any shoulder issues or anything, so I'm just gonna go for it. Ooh, it's kind of hard to stay on track here. It's okay, so this one's up at the top. Yeah. You know, this one was over here. Mm -hmm. This one's a compensating aspect right here at the superior angle. <laughs> now I'm making the noises. <laughs> Right there. Oh, I'm gonna stay there. Okay. I'm gonna have to use my <laughs> star. Where am I going? Right there. You're not okay. going there. Anywhere. There you go. You're like, where am I gonna go? You could run. You could roll. <laughs> no, what it is is people will put their arm down. Oh. I wanted you to keep your arm there. My elbow can't cut through it. This thing can. There. <laughs> there we go. This is that little red star. I'm not sure if you've seen that one. Mm -mm. It's a fairly new thing I've been doing to save my hands. Mm. There we go. It's nothing here. Oh, I'm just, ugh. All right, let me check that other side. No, it's... It's fine, I'm going right through it. I got that side, okay. And then I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I can see this forming low back pain. Hmm. In the future, be careful. I'm gonna have to give you some exercises. Hmm. Guys at work are like, you're young, you'll get there, don't worry. Oh, at the station or yeah. the. Here's the top of it. Eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go back down lower. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. All the way up. Yeah, look at that. That's swollen. Okay. Okay. There it goes. There it is. Okay. You surviving? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, here we go. This is the one that always makes me sore the next day. It took me a long time to figure this one out. <laughs> No. 
nothing much there. behind my back to give it a break. <laughs> I'm like, why does she do these things? I'm like, well, put the arm back, because I've always like this on his shoulder, so I put the arm back to let the blood flow go back in. You're not going to know what it is unless you try it. Too bad. I'll have to take your word for it. You can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit right here. You can probably tell it's a little more sore, mm -hmm. right? Then maybe down here. Yeah. It's right here. You've got some petechiae. That's everybody's favorite part. <laughs> like, I didn't get any. You know, if somebody doesn't get anything, they're yeah, so they're disappointed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I did my best, but right? if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. Definitely, you know, where I said, like, all the congestion is, mm -hmm. it's just... nothing over here so over here oh so much so much like, I, there's pockets of blood I haven't even pulled yet to the surface mm. but I'm like that that's good enough <laughs> <laughs> your shoulders a little bit well you know what's really going to influence this the most is exercises okay so I, I might spend the time doing that because I don't feel it going into the front at all that you need we need to do some exercises <laughs> quickly so this is a little easier than the green roller Green roller is brutal when I do this stuff. There we go. This arm goes back. You're mm -hmm. going to kind of lean back. There you go. Like that. Straighten out the bottom leg for me. That's it. It almost popped itself. There we go. Good. I got you. You're not going to fall. Breathe. Let it go. That's all it's going to go. Other side. It's all about the setup for me. Yeah. If I don't get the setup right, <laughs> I won't get it. Like I see, the, like my dad, he'll just like, like <laughs> he can just put people into that position really quickly. That's it. That's all it's gonna go. We're gonna face up. Yeah, just careful. Don't fall off. Okay. All right, how's it feeling? Good. Is it okay? Mm-hmm. Got some of these. Lovely. Oh yeah. This is like. Just takes time. Mm -hmm. You can get like a massage cane and work on this yourself. Yeah. I have a video on it. So your butt is on the ground, mm -hmm. knees are bent, roller is in the mid back, right where I was digging on you. I wasn't really digging on the lower back. Yeah. It was right here, and then you, your head has to go back, and arms are out. Okay, this will bring back the torso back over the pelvis. Okay, now if your head can't touch the floor, mm -hmm. I, your butt has to be on the floor. Head, some people are not very flexible, so they're like this and they're hanging and they can't. You just put a pillow. Oops. Okay. But it's important to have the, the glutes on the floor. 
and go back as far as you can. Now, I, you don't have to roll it. You can roll it, but I want you to get a good five minutes right underneath your shoulder blades, okay? And open up the chest. And I got up the wrong way. <laughs> Just to roll off. <laughs> so it, ooh, I got a little pop, good. Yep, and that's what you do. I can't go more harder than that or else it's like CPR. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, yep. And you're gonna wait five minutes. minutes. Yes, and you're not gonna, you can move it like in segments, but just when you're done with the five minutes, then you can go back roll. and forth and roll. Oh. All right, we're done. I'm gonna show you some other exercises.